Hey love, so today's video is going to be another tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this hair from Sexy Hair. I have worked with this company twice prior to them and yes, they do have some really affordable hair. They also on, are on Amazon.com as well. You guys know how I feel about Amazon. They have like the best deals. You can get free shipping if you are a Prime member, which I am and a whole bunch of other good stuff. So I do have a hair box of dye, which is by Dark and Lovely, as you guys see right here. I'm just going to remove that. I love to use box dyes. You've seen me use this for the past few years now, um, way back in probably like 2014. I prefer the box dyes most of the time because it's just less harsh on the hair to me. It doesn't get so brassy and hey, if you're just going for like that chocolatey brown or light brown or reddish brown you could definitely use like some box dyes there also are ones that are lighter but for this video I just had this one under my sink because I do buy a few at a time and I decided to use this one so this is the dark and lovely one and I did go ahead and mix up the mixture and I'm just left it in the bottle to settle and I'm going to go into my BW2 which is the hair bleaching powder and the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have enough and also your utensils and also make sure you put on gloves because this stuff will burn your skin so I'm going to go ahead and put a few scoops in and that's one, that's two, and then we have three. So that should be enough for the entire hair. Like I said, I'm only going to highlight and I'm going to use my 20 developer in cream. Now, I thought I had a 30 developer under the sink, but a girl didn't. And by the time I was doing this video, it was kind of late. It was like about eight o'clock. So Sally's Beauty Supply was definitely closed and so was the beauty supply store so you know I just used what I had I then went ahead and separated the two so I'm gonna go ahead and throw um pour in the dark and lovely hair dye I like to pour the dark and lovely in a bowl because it just makes life so much easier so what I'm doing here is I'm actually going to go ahead and separate the closure from the actual hair I always do that with my closures only because I just feel like I like to keep them separate especially because you guys know me I love to have dark roots um, in all of my units it doesn't matter what color they are it just makes life easier blending easy and so forth so the bottom layer I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to separate the hair and just brush it out so that way there is no tangles in it and I'm going to use the bleaching powder um, concoction that I made first meaning not the dark and lovely hair dye but just the bleaching powder with the developer so I start at the bottom and I saturate the hair at the tips and so forth and I kind of like work my way up brushing it onto the hair now when I say brushing it I don't mean just laying it onto the hair I just use the ends of the tip of the brush and I kind of like brush it into the hair as if I was brushing my own hair but with the um, dye brush so that is what I do up into the top portion and I just continue that on again and once again I'm just going to saturate the ends and put most of it or abundance of it at the bottom and then I'm just going to brush upwards or downwards or whatever no downwards but as you see how I'm holding the brush I'm more or less holding the brush and putting strokes in so it's not really like brushing it's more or less like strokes you know you want to be light with it because it's just highlights you don't want to do the under portion because it's just highlights and trust and believe these do come out looking really really nice especially for highlights this is just my way of doing highlights everybody has their own way but this is just easier and simpler for me so I carry on with doing that, you know, throughout the video of using the bleaching powder with the developer in it. And I'm pretty sure you guys are like, well, girl, when are you about to use the dark and lovely? So, hunties, yes, I'm definitely going to use the dark and lovely, and that is going to be right now. So I'm going to go ahead and pull down another layer of hair or another row of hair. So that way we can get to using the dark and lovely hair dye. So you want to make sure that the hair is brushed out and now go ahead. I have two separate brushes. As you guys see, this is a different brush and I'm using the dark and lovely. As you guys can tell, it's definitely the dark and lovely because you don't see any kind of like white residue on it. And I'm just taking the same precaution method. I'm just doing the same thing as I did prior with the bleach. I am just saturating the bottom portion and I'm working my way up. Now right here, I did apply some of that dark and lovely hair dye to the bleached hair as well. And that is what I also do throughout the video. I kind of like combine the two but certain strands I just leave for dark and lovely and then you know certain strands I do mix with the dark and lovely this whole entire process is so time consuming and tedious I will tell you guys that so that's why I really don't do them so much but when I do do them it seems like I'm always on a roll like go ahead girl get it get it but yeah so I like to do this process some people like to um do it prior to um making a wig but for me you know it's kind of like the same thing I do it like this it's kind of like me doing the same thing as in um 
you know, highlighting, but not so much, kind of like the same thing. Either way, it kind of works itself out, you know what I mean? It does work itself out, and it comes out really nice. So I kind of figured I didn't want you guys to see the entire process because you guys would probably be like, girl, you're just going to be doing the same thing over and over again. We're going to get tired of watching you. So basically, it's the same thing over and over and over again until you're done and finished. And as you see, I'm just going back into the bleach. It's every other row bleached and every other row dark and lovely until I get like further up to the top I kind of run low on the um dark and lovely so I just continue to use the bleach um and I made the bleach a little bit more runnier uh, consistency a little bit more runnier because for me I noticed that when it's a nice runny consistency not too runny but just like not too thick either but not creamy either but a little bit really loose the bleaching powder seems to process a lot better on the hair it doesn't get all cakey the bleaching powder does not get cakey at all so I do prefer the concoction to be a little or the mixture to be a little bit loose so you guys this is the outcome of it as you guys see I don't really know what happened at that bottom right there so it's really really like red at that portion that's like the only spot I think in the unit like that I don't really know what happened oh and then there's another portion in front so I did show um you guys that I did so in the combs in the unit and I did tweeze me a right a left curve part so I'm going to go ahead and take my foundation stick um and I'm going to rub that into the inner portion of the closure I could have went ahead and bleached the knots which I didn't even feel like doing I don't really like to bleach the knots anymore just because it just kind of gives it like that brassy tone I'm also going to go ahead and take my pressed powder by Too Faced and apply that on top of the foundation stick um, just so that way it gives it a better conceal now it's time to prepare my hair I do have a little bit of leave out for those people who don't like leave out with their closures you can always 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 just you know do some baby hairs with the closure itself um, with the closure you're not going to get too many styling options but for me I like a closure too girl I do now for the wig grip I'm going to put on my wig grip band and going to go ahead and put that wig on okay I do like the wig grip sometimes not all the time it all depends you have to really make sure that it's lying really flat so that way your lit your wig is flat to your head because you don't really want your wig to be showing like seriously you really don't now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just conceal that part a little bit and make it look a lot more natural as well as that as I'm just going to go ahead and just get the hair prepared I'm going to take one side at a time and hot curl it now keep in mind I don't like hot curling on camera this is the silk element um, heat protectant it does have aloe oil I think it's Moroccan oil or aloe oil or something like that in it but it does make the hair really nice it makes it nice and shiny uh, well not too shiny you don't need too much but it just gives it a nice luster and a nice softness I think it's olive oil so I'm going to take my 8-in-1 barrel and I'm going to flatten the top and then I'm going to take my Herbal Essence Mousse, Styling Mousse. And this is what I do with all of my units. I always take some Styling Mousse and I just run it through the hair. So that way when it's time to curl the unit, there are no flyaways. The curls will stay. The whole style will come together. So I really like to use some type of Styling Mousse on the hair prior to curling it. It just allows the hair to style a lot better. And like I said, there's no flyaways. You don't have to um, saturate the hair with it, the wig with it, but you do need to just distribute enough and make sure that, you know, you brush thoroughly. Like when I say distribute enough, just a little bit. You don't need a lot because we're not saturating the hair. So if, in case you guys are wondering why I'm laughing, I was watching um, Cat Williams on Netflix, his new stand-up comedy that just came out. And then I was watching his 2008 one. He is so funny and, you know, I just really like comedy sometimes it all depends on who it is certain people to me are not really funny so that is the reason why I was laughing during this video now as you guys see how I twirled it um, I just took the hair and I'll show you guys again and I took my barrel curler and I took and I wrapped it around but as I was wrapping I was kind of like twirling my wrist so it was twisted around the barrel curler and I'll do that again you want to wrap it and throw your hand as you're wrapping it around and it'll give that that kind of like wave look okay so I didn't want to show you guys the whole entire process on camera because like I said it's just time consuming and it's tedious and I just did the same thing now for this side I'm going to go ahead and spray in the silk elements and I'm going to style it off camera as I did so here so you guys know that I have really thin edges um, thin hairline so I'm going to be using my boldify which is very similar to topic and other hair filler fibers and makes it look as if you have hair and I really love the product a lot I hopefully I remember to put information down below and to slick down my leave I'm going to be using one of my favorite gels which is the gorilla snot gel because it gives it the perfect 
perfect hole, ladies, okay? So now into just preparing my own hair and setting everything up, getting all ready. I thought this is like a really cool look, especially because today is Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? And of course, we're going to have to switch it up because it wouldn't be Valentine's Day without some type of pink or red clothing. So as you guys see, the look came together really nice. I love the highlights in it. It's something different. It's very chocolatey brown, sophisticated, warm tone, very pretty, and it brings out like the color and just actually the style of it. So, it isn't too hard to do. You can definitely use a box tie for the whole entire look if you want to, but you know, I just decided to switch it up. This is something really fun and really kind of like romantical curls, romance curls for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. You can definitely check out Sexy Hair. I will post their information below. They did send me their Brazilian body wave, and I do believe the lengths were 20, 20, 18, and a 16 inch closure, I believe. But either way, I will definitely post all of the information where you can pick up this hair from they have some really great hair i've worked with them several times and you can definitely catch them on amazon and if you have prime you can get free shipping and you get it super fast so that's the great thing about amazon prime is you get all of your items like within two days and it's always free shipping so i love you guys stay diva and delicious. make sure you rate comment subscribe happy valentine's i hope you guys have a wonderful evening and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll speak to you guys soon and all the info and links will be down below bye